Welcome back to the Alice Interview Studio here in Berlin. Now joined by Lucy. And Lucy, for those who don't know her, she is the LEC Scout Analyst for G2 Sports. Thank you very much for joining me. It's so nice to see you again. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's amazing to see you again. So for those who don't know your job at G2, can you explain a bit what is a Scout Analyst, please? Uh, so I'm basically responsible for preparing the team for the opponents that we'll be playing against mm -hmm. so that the players know the the tendencies that the team play against and basically just have an idea of what they're playing uh -huh. against so they have no surprises and they can detect what map movements they will do. All right. Well, I know that usually on socials you're very passionate or vocal about your team's performances, whether they succeed or run it down. So since the beginning of World Championship, how do you think about G2? Uh, I think we had our very clear G2 moments. Uh, we had some good moments and some moments where we kind of run it down. Mm -hmm. But I guess that's expected when watching us. You know, we give our fans a bigger heart attack and anxiety attacks when watching us. <laughs> But overall, I think that we are improving very well as a team mm -hmm. doing worlds, and I'm very happy with the, the performance that we are showing. How is it for you so far? Because I know the, the year has been strange as a whole, but I mean, you're also helping the team remotely here. So how does this work exactly? Yeah, so I'm incapable of watching any of the scrim games mm -hmm. because obviously they're in China and it's very different time zone. So most of my work and communication of how the team are doing in China kind of goes through Doffman. So I know that what we're doing well, what isn't going well in scrims and so where to focus my um, scouting for the team and for the next opponents. Okay. Okay. Now thinking about Genji, it looks like it's an easy series so far from you guys, but we'll see about the last game. But okay, talking about the draft here, you went in a totally different direction because uh, Genji went with Camille first pick, which means that you went for Lilia and Shen. So you actually let them the first three pick that you had for game one. Can you explain maybe the reasoning behind this? Yes. So um, they basically did copy our game one draft. <laughs> At least the top side. Um, but I think that we had a very good answer to it. I mm -hmm. think Shen into Camille was something that we played in LEC uh, quite often. And we think that Lilia is probably a higher prior than uh, Nidalee mm -hmm. in this meta. And Silas is obviously a good uh, pick into TF because you can steal the TF ult. So it's a very good sort of uh, counter to what they try to do. Uh -huh. Um, because when Camille will try to go into side lane, she can ult into the team fight on the other side of the map. And likewise, if you match Silas into TF, then Silas can steal the TF ult and then join the t fight as well. So you'd always have sort of the same number mm -hmm. or a number advantage when fighting. And it played out so well for you. I mean, Caps, this game, what did you think about his performance? It was insane. <laughs> I think Kaus is definitely in his element. Um, you know, when he buys Medrise and he manages to stack it to 25, <laughs> he used to stack it to 25. He is for sure in his comfort zone. Um, he even tried to go for the two dark steals at the start. So it just really shows he's really comfortable on this champion and just in general in this series. I mean, the, the whole team feels on the same phase here. Do you have any expectations for the last game and at least the third game? Because we don't know if it's going to be the last one. Yeah, I don't want to see a repeat of uh, yesterday. So uh, I think I don't want the guys to get cocky. I uh -huh. don't want them to get ahead of themselves. I still want them to respect the uh, enemy and what they are able to do. But I do think that we have shown to sort of counter everything that they have to show. So I think we're in a very good spot right now. But you never know what Genji are going to throw in last second. Yeah. We'll see that in a few minutes. But Lucy, thank you so much for all these insights. And we're going to take a short break. And we'll thank see so in a couple moments if G2 can close out the series against NG. Stay tuned.